but I find you very attractive. I find you attractive as well, Mrs. Mars. Do you mind if I creepily watch? Oh. No, that's alright. Guys, I'm so sorry. I really have a creep sometimes. <laughs>What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla, and today we embark on yet another brand new adventure with one another. And I am so excited to get this playthrough underway because it's not only something that you guys wanted to see on the channel via the latest poll we threw, but it's something I've wanted to play on the channel for a very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into the universe of Heavy Rain. One of my favourite PlayStation 3 titles of all time, but when it comes to Quantic Dream, I am in love with the work that they do at that company. Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, Fahrenheit, Beyond Two Souls, anything you want to throw in the mix of when it comes to games that have multiple endings and are choice based and really feel like an interactive film, more so than a game. Some of you at home might be thinking that the gameplay is a little bit lacking with these games and it's a little bit monotonous, but I love when the developers throw the outcome of a situation over to the gamers and we're going to be making some very big decisions in this playthrough. Not only are we going to aim for the best outcome possible, I am also going to try and undertake every single action sequence we can however dark and gritty they may be. And trust me when I say this game gets dark and gritty real quick, so I hope you guys are keen to see that. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. That's a great idea. Freshen yourself up for the gods who are nation. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. I love you. Also guys, you might be uh, sitting at home realizing that I'm coming through a little bit clearer to you guys. That's because your boy R. Godzilla is stepping up in the world, got a new microphone, so uh... Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever feel like getting down with Godzilla with some ASMR, then I can even do some sexy whispers and the microphone picks it up. Do you like that? Does it make you tingle? Let's get back to the action. We don't need to be doing that creepy shit up in here. There is nothing more riveting than brushing your teeth in a video game. Let me tell you what. Because you know what, ladies and gentlemen? we got to defeat Plark. It's a real situation. It's something people deal with every day. But right now, children, if you're watching, you might need to pervert your eyes. I'm throwing this one out to all the ladies and men that are into this kind of thing. Ethan's about to get his gear off and have a shower. Calm yourselves down. I know he's a good looking lad. Have a look at that. Those are the butt cheeks of a hero. I don't even know if I can be showing the... Can I be showing that without YouTube wanting to throw down some pornography kind of claims and stuff on this? Make sure you to got to dry yourselves. So riveting. Some of the guests, best, I said guests, best gameplay you'll see. I'm so distracted by Ethan's manly charm that I'm butchering the English language. Let's get some clothes on, shall we? I could have shaved, but I prefer Ethan with a bit of a more grisly look to him. Not everyone needs to be clean shaven all the time. Thank you for everyone who voted for this game to hit the channel as well. I really am thankful for the fact that the last few polls I have ran, so many people have interacted with it and let me know what they want to see, 
It really helps myself as a content creator knowing what you guys want to see on the channel moving forward. So bearing that in mind, if you do want to have your voices heard and you don't know how, links are in the description down below to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. That's where I usually run my polls, so if you want to start actively getting involved with recommending some games for your boy to play, that's where you can do it. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. For the many playthroughs I've done of this game, I have never done some garden time. Who wants to do gardening? Who wants to do a monotonous chore like that? I hate gardening. It's probably why my uh, garden looks like a jungle straight out of a Tarzan film. But, but never to mind. Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. Oh, we'll get some work done. The one thing I will say about this game, and unfortunately, it does fall down upon this episode. There isn't much action going on in the beginning. At the end of this episode, it sets up the tone for the rest of the game. So, bear that in mind when you watch this video. Don't let this particular video deter you from the series as a whole, because I promise you, there are going to be many sequences throughout this game that you are not going to want to miss. And there are some things in this game that I have never seen pulled off in another video game before, and that alone has me excited to experience this again with you guys. Ethan, how about sitting down at the chair and actually doing some work instead of standing up? I know that was me pressing the wrong button, let's not go in on that. Anyway, here we go. Ethan is an architect by trade, you see. And we're going to ensure that he does a very good drawing right now. His livelihood depends on it. The music sets a tone that really hammers certain things home in this game, but right now it doesn't. I mean, this is some real, like, sad and somber music going on here. Maybe I shouldn't have put that TV on and walked away. Running up my electricity bill like crazy. We don't want to stuff this drawing up. We've got to take our time. That's a nice crispy cream line right there. Yes, I said Crean. It's an inside joke. The people that know it will know it, okay? God damn it. You know what? This is taking a while. I'm going to finish up this drawing and I'll bring you guys back once he's ready to actually do something a little bit more meaningful. And yes, by all accounts, by meaningful, I mean we're going to fuck around with a remote control car in the kitchen. Because why wouldn't we do that? We're playing with a toy within a game. Is that like Inception? But with toy cars? Is that how it goes down? I've seriously been wandering around this house for God knows how long, and I've ran out of things to do. Oh, thank God. The wife and children are home. Hey, take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, ten years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. <laughs> Ethan, can you please help me? I'm coming. Okay, so we do have the option where we don't have to help the wife here. But, I want to paint Ethan and the other characters in particular ways, and Ethan, in this playthrough to me, is going to be a oh, loving and devoted so father and parent who would do anything to, in in to help his family out. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? Oh, my day's been great. 
I made some pretty good progress. I've just got to work on a few more details, and then I should be ready to present the plans to the client. I drew some plans. Uh, I've got a billion things to do. Played with the remote we'll control never be car. Ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. Oh, I'll help you with something. No problem. Leave it to me. It's not letting me get frisky. I just want to spend some lovely time with the wife. Is that wrong? Is that too much to ask? That door is always sticking. Give it a big tug. That's the set my mother gave us. Be careful, okay? Don't worry. I wouldn't want to be responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. Be careful with the... Okay. I always thought these plates really looked like they come from a $2 budget store. More though than fine china. Have a look. That doesn't look like fine dining. Oh, whoops. Hey, Ethan. You said you were going to be careful. I'm sorry. I'll be more gentle. Yeah, I better not shatter the $2 plate. Okay, we'll do it properly this time. Every now and then I might throw a uh, purposeful curveball in the works just to see what happens. Here we go. I don't know if I've already told you this today, Mrs. Mars. But I find you very attractive. I find you attractive as well, Mrs. Mars. Do you mind if I creepily watch? Oh. No, that's alright. Guys, I'm so sorry. I really am a creep sometimes. I know what's on your mind, Ethan. But now is not the right time for it. Now's the perfect time for it. I've really got to focus on this party. We'll continue this little conversation later. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to pinch some of your grapes. Thanks for preparing those. And I'm going to go play with the boys outside. Jason looks happy. Yeah, it's hard to believe he's 10 years old today. It seems like only yesterday. Okay, boys, what are we That's doing? That's it, I'm free as a bird. Hey, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got okay, your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promise, Mom. Five minutes to play. God we'll damn Nazi. Me first, no, me, me first. first. Easy, fellas, you can both have a turn. Okay, normally I'd go for Sean, but it's Jason's birthday, so I think we me play with first, the birthday boy first. first. Me Nah, nah, bugger it. We're going with Sean. Okay, Sean. Get ready. Here <laughs> we go. When I mentioned earlier that the action takes a little bit of time to pick up on, I used to take these real light-hearted moments for granted at the beginning. But given the roller coaster <laughs> Ethan is about to undergo, it's good to see him having a... Uh, a smile on his face and really enjoying life. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it any further, but moments like this really do serve the story as a whole. It's my turn now. All right, Jason, let's do the helicopter. Okay, birthday boy, let's do the helicopter. <laughs> okay, that's enough helicopter. Oh, you want to see my big muscles? I mean, hang on. I've been working out. It's all good and proper, boys, but there's something I want to do. Birthday boy and I have some unfinished business. It's going down. This time you're done for. You better pay for all your crimes. Ha! Ah, surrender, weakling. Say your prayers. <laughs> now, any other father would let their son win in a fight like this, but um, on, I say fuck it. Let's go all out. He wants to throw down the gauntlet. We make sure he learns his place in the hierarchy. I'm the king of this goddamn castle. Come on, Jason, are you a birthday boy or a birthday bitch? Come on. 
It's over for you, Jason. We did it, little man. Food's ready, kids. You coming in? You just call me a child. Did you just call me a child, woman? Let's go inside. Normally I'd sit at Sean? the dinner table and eat, but Lunch um is ready. I'll go get him. We gotta go find Sean. And I know where Sean's at. He's upstairs. This is a bit of a foreshadowing of uh some dark undertones Sean? that are to come. <laughs> What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. You know, Sean, there's some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. It's not fair at all, Sean. I know. And what Ethan just said really undermines what's at the core of this story. But let's just put that to the side and forget we didn't hear that, okay? Hear what, Coxera? What are you talking about? That's exactly what I'm talking about. You heard nothing. trip out with the family. Store. I'm just saying, just putting that out there into the universe. Jason! 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 You're going to hear a lot of this. Jason! Jason! Because unfortunately I was cursed with a child that was born to never listen. Jason! Jason! Jason Mars, you best turn around right now before I put your ass in front of everybody in this goddamn mall. Jason, Thank you. you really shouldn't run a raft like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. Great! Hey, champ. What's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. I could it's have really bought an entire packet of balloons for two dollars. What's worse is it's about to take Ethan half an hour to find a wallet that should have taken him only two seconds to find in reality. And meanwhile, my son, who doesn't know how to listen, has wandered right off. It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean disappeared? I mean he Stay disappeared. It, it's. I'll go get him. Do you not I'll understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Jason! I told you you're going to hear a lot of this. 
quick. I need to go downstairs now or I'm gonna lose him in the crowd. How he got down there so Jason. quick, I have no idea. Jason! Get out of my way, please. Jason! 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 Like Pennywise up in this beach. Follow the red balloon. Jason! Hey, Jason! Jason! Which red balloon do we follow? Jason! Get out of my way! Jason! Can't you see I'm a parent that's losing their goddamn mind? Jason! 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 You wait till I get you, Jason. Jason. You wait till we get home, mister. Jason. I'm turning this Jason. car around. Jason! That's a bit creepy, says Jason. turning some random kid around. Jason! Jason! Get out of my way! Taught not to look both ways before it crosses the road. Jason! Jason! Oh my god, no! No! No, Jason! Oh my god, no! Now, because game developers can't show dead children, well, they can, but they choose not to. We're just going to, uh, Allow the flying away of this balloon to indicate the fact that Jason is dead. Which I knew really never got my head around because not only did Ethan take the full impact of that car by turning his body into the car to protect Jason, but the car pretty much came to a complete stop while, while hitting the brakes, so... Pose that question. But as I said, that moment right there sets the tone for the rest of this experience. Heavy rain purely named for the fact that it's pissing down rain. But as I said earlier, I really do hope you guys stick around to undergo this full experience with myself. There are so many different paths we can take that are going to pave different outcomes, different stories for us to undertake. We can have characters die at the beginning of the game and that takes all of their scenarios off the table. We can have characters make it all the way to the end, which is going to turn the outcome on its head. Hopefully we can make it with everybody alive. That's what I'm aiming to do. I know there are some bloodthirsty subscribers and viewers out there who absolutely froth the fact that I play these games so you can see me kill the characters off relentlessly every single time just like when we live streamed until dawn. But it's going to be a little bit different this time because while killing characters off in games might seem like fun, we don't really get to experience the real cutting edge kind of gripping action that this game does present if we kill the characters off so early. So we need to put the uh, bloodthirsty natures in the back pocket just for a little bit, just so we can have a taste of what this game can offer us. 
And so far, we've only been presented with Ethan's backstory. Now, officially kicking off this run of being a father who has lost a son. And you're going to see how his story plays out from this point on moving forward. But we've still got another three characters to be introduced to as well. All the different personalities. All that will eventually come into communication with Ethan at some point in some time. This is now two years after the fact. You can see Ethan clearly gives zero fucks about the fact that it's raining. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. And ladies and gentlemen, while the rain falls down so heavily, because it's heavy rain, do you, do you get it? That's going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you for joining me as always. I've made mention a few times already, but when we return, the action well and truly begins to kick it up another notch, and I hope you guys are excited to see more. If you are, do myself a favor and punch that like button. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you happen to be new to the channel, there is plenty of other gameplay to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you happen to enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button and pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation in the process. If gameplays aren't your thing, we've got plenty of other stuff going down as well. I'm sure you'll find something that you can dig your teeth into. Hit that little notification bell as well, right next to the subscribe button, so each and every time something brand new does hit the channel, you guys get a sweet little notification to indicate yourselves to that fact. Social media links are in the description below. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to let your voices be heard, hit me up on those. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.